In this video, we're going to try a cool nail hack for soft gel tips that will make them last longer. Finally, it's my turn to be my own model, so I will be doing my nails with this new kit from Varnail. So let's open up the box and see what do we have. Once again, this beautiful heart-shaped bubble wrap, a manual, and we have a kit of soft gel tips. Medium almond, 600 pieces, 12 sizes, clear. I really like that they included 12 sizes instead of 10, which means you can easily find the right fit even for wide nails, for big nails, as well as for the tiny ones. Just look at this size 11, it's so small. I like that everything is with the heart shape on the top, so we have solid nail tips adhesive gel. I already tried one by Varnail and this one is clear too, but this one has thicker consistency. So you can use it for 3D nail art as well as for applying soft gel tips. So we're definitely going to try this one. And I love the packaging. It's like light peach and square shaped jar. I guess this is a nail pusher tool with a stone abrasive, which is very convenient for working on your cuticles, especially in the corners. But please keep in mind that this tool needs to be a personal use tool. So once you push back your cuticles, you're not supposed to use it on someone else because this material is porous and you cannot fully sterilize it. So if you decide that this is going to be your pusher, only use it on yourself. And also we have this beautiful box here, Varnail Professional Gel Nail Polish. This is the kit of six colors. This is my first time trying colors by Varnail, so I'm really curious what this collection is. It's called Rainbow Candy. <gasps> It's jelly color. In case you guys didn't know, I love jelly colors because I like everything that's transparent and colorful. So this is the collection of jelly colors. Let's take a closer look at them and see the swatch. First color is called lightning pink and it's so bright. It actually feels like a neon pink color. And I think one coat will be more than enough. After curing, I noticed that these colors, they do not have a sticky layer. The consistency is medium thin and it's pretty comfortable to apply them. I was hunting for this traditional honey yellow color for so long and finally I have it. Because other ones were whether too pale or more like a greeny yellow. I really want to do honey nails now. Ice Time probably is my least favorite color out of this collection. Caribbean Sea is awesome, beautiful turquoise color. Wow, Jelly Magenta is so pretty too. I will definitely have a hard time picking the colors because they all look so pretty, but luckily I have five fingers. So I'm definitely going to use them all. And this is how the entire swatch looks like. They are so glass transparent, but also bright at the same time. I think this is one of the best jelly colors I I've ever tried so far. Now I'm even more excited to do my own nails now that we have such beautiful colors and I also cannot wait to try this nail hack with soft gel tips, so let's get started. This is my left hand and yes, I did it again. I had infill overdue, I had previous nails with long extensions for about six weeks I believe and yes I know it's bad but you know how it goes you never have time for yourself anyways I took off the product and now I'm going to prep my nails for new extensions first I'm going to file the free edge as short as possible I already have some VAR nail products such as nail files because I received a nail mail from them a few weeks ago. I also have a video about it. I will leave the link in the upper right corner if you would like to check it out. Then I proceed to the prep and push back my cuticles using orange wood stick and dry manicure using electric nail file. I usually use a flame-shaped diamond bead with red abrasive mark. The speed is around 17,000 rotations per minute. Once I push back the cuticles and they're all clean, sometimes I trim my cuticles with cuticle scissors, sometimes I use electric nail file. 
Then we need to take off the surface shine. I used 180 grit file. Before applying prep products, I prefer to find the perfect sizes of soft gel tips. And for me, it's usually pretty easy. If you want to find the tip for the thumb, you just pick the biggest one, zero. And then you need to make sure that every tip is covering your nail from one side to the other. Then we need to apply dehydrator and base coat. I like that Varnail base coat is a little different. They have this rounded shape brush, which is so convenient when you want to apply it near the cuticle. Do not forget that the layer should be super thin. Cure for 30 seconds, then I clean the underside of the tip with alcohol because they are not pre-etched to provide a better adhesion and save some time on filing them. I'm going to use this adhesive gel, which is super thick, and it is very convenient to use it with tips, especially when you are doing your own nails or if you are dealing with a client who has very challenging nails. You need to press a little harder than usual because this gel is very thick and the advantage is that you don't really need to flash cure because when you apply it on the nail, you can let go and see if it's okay. If you notice that it's looking to the side or you have some excess gel on the side, you can clean it all before curing it in the lamp. I'm sorry guys for blocking the view a little bit, but that's the only way to hold the tip and to press it properly. Make sure that you do not have any bubbles inside. If you do, do not worry, just take it off and redo it all over again. Before you cure it in the lamp, there's nothing we cannot fix. And that's it, that was pretty quick, right? I intentionally left a little margin near the cuticle because I'm going to try this nail hack. I will use acetone and my least favorite brush and I'm going to blend this part of the tip to make it seamless. I saw this nail hack on Instagram and really wanted to try it. So the idea is that acetone is going to melt the tip and this area will not be visible. Unfortunately, it didn't work very well for me. Maybe the acetone I was using was not too strong, but it took me forever to see any visible result. I think this method will be perfect for any home users. For those who do not have an electric nail file or you do not know how to use it, then this method may work. My only concern about this nail hack is that we have a base coat underneath, which is a silk of base coat, right? So when you use acetone, it may melt a base coat as well, so you will need to reapply it when you apply more product near the cuticle. Anyways, I decided to switch to my regular method. I just used electric nail file to quickly file this area. Usually it doesn't take me more than five minutes. And then I take 220 grit buffer by Varnail and buff the surface shine to make them smooth. I will only need to fill this area near the cuticle now and the nails are ready and this cuticle area will be seamless even when the nails grow longer. My thoughts on this nail hack are this is a brilliant idea and it works, but for me anything that's taking me like five times more time is not really a hack. It may benefit anyone who's not using an e-file, but for me this method is definitely easier and faster. Now I'm going to use reinforced gel, which I also have for my previous nail mail from Varnail. Technically, this gel is designed to strengthen weak and brittle nails, but we can also use it for soft gel tips. So my goal is only to fill this area near the cuticle. You can also use builder gel for this purpose. So first I apply this gel on the entire tip and then with a detailer brush, I take more product and apply it near the cuticle. And this is how we have this perfect surface. And here's another nail hack coming. Instead of filing numbers underneath, simply seal them with a top coat. I got this nail hack from the comments under my another video and it's working. Seriously, I cannot see this number anymore. That's pretty cool and time-saving. Now let's apply these beautiful colors. As you probably suspected, guys, I could not pick just one, so I decided to do them all. So now I have five different colors on my nails. And also we need to seal them with a glass top coat, and that's not everything. 
I also decided to do a super cute glass design. I saw the idea of these nails on Pinterest with a gummy bear, but then I started to looking for a tutorial and realized that all these gummy bears are just accessories. I don't have one, but I have solid nail tips adhesive gel, which is even better because we can create anything out of it. I did some 3D nail art with acrylic in the past, but it's my first time doing something with the gel. But how hard can it be? A gummy bear is technically a bear which is created with one rectangle and a few circles, right? All we need is just one rectangle for the body, big ball for the head, and four smaller ones to do the paws. So I did this snake shape and then I simply cut it into four even pieces and this is how we create the paws. By the way, this gel is thick, but it's still slightly moving and it perfectly worked for my benefit as I was working on the ears and on his nose, all the rest of the body parts, they became even more perfectly sphered, if you know what I'm talking about, and I cannot see any gloves prints anymore, which is perfect. The best part is whenever you feel like something is not right or you don't like the shape, you can always re-sculpt it and change the shape until you cure it. I used Builder Gel to do the eyes because they're supposed to be smaller and the gummy bear is finished. It doesn't look like a candy because it's transparent, so we need to add some color and I decided to pick this beautiful neon pink. First, I add some color right from the bottle and then I switch to my detailer brush and make sure that everything is covered, including his head, ears and paws. Honestly, my intention was to do this gummy bear just for the photos and the video and I thought that I'm going to take it off the next day but it's been a week now and it's still on it did not fall off and I have to say it's pretty comfortable to have it because it's rather smooth after curing the color we also need to seal it with a top coat which will prevent it from being sticky but most importantly it will make it look more like a gummy bear because with gummy bears you cannot really see all those details, I mean paws and nose, they're all kind of melted together and that's exactly what top coat is doing. So I apply a tack free top coat here in LED for 30 seconds and the gummy bear is finished and I'm so proud of my first 3D art with adhesive tips gel and also I love this set, it's so colorful and I'm always getting compliments now on my nails. Links to the products that I use will be in the description box as usual. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Goodbye!